Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. The closer we get to Thanksgiving and the holidays, the more convenient those quick and easy weeknight meals are. Hmm? <laughs> There's no reason to switch to process or frozen foods because I have so many delicious recipes like cauliflower fried rice, veal marsala, cashew chicken and others including this one. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my pappardelle with pancetta and mushrooms. This is a quick and flavorful meal. While the pasta is cooking, the ingredients are sautéed and as soon as the noodles are done, it's time to eat. That's awesome! So my friends, Let's get cooking. First thing first, we'll go ahead and cook the pasta in salted boiling water according to package directions. Next, in a large skillet over medium heat, we'll add pancetta and saute it for 5 minutes or until nice and crisp. When it's done, we'll transfer it to a bowl lined with paper towels using a slider spoon and Set aside for now. Back to the skillet. We'll add some olive oil and clarified butter. When it's hot and melted, we'll add shallots and saute them for one to one and a half minutes. These are the mushrooms I'll be using. King oyster, portobello, and crimini. But you can use the ones you prefer and we'll add them to the skillet along with pressed garlic and lots of it. We'll season with ground sea salt and saute for 8 to 10 minutes. Normally, I don't like to add garlic too soon because if it burns, it gets bitter. But from the liquid the mushrooms will release, the garlic will be fine. After 10 minutes, We'll season the mixture with Italian seasoning, which you can make from scratch by clicking on the top right corner of your screen. Some lemon zest to brighten it up. Of course, freshly ground black pepper and a little bit of red pepper flakes. We'll blend the seasonings nicely into the mixture and then pour in some dry white wine. We'll bring it to a simmer and when it gets there, We'll pour in heavy cream and return the pancetta back to the skillet. We'll mix the ingredients and bring the mixture to a gentle simmer before stirring in our cooked pepardelli. When the noodles are nicely blended, we'll add grana padano, although parmigiano reggiano is a great substitute. We'll give a last stir before serving. And my friends, this is our pappardelle with pancetta and mushrooms. Unpretentious, this is a quick and easy pasta dish for weeknights or when you don't want to spend too much time cooking. The flavors are delicious. It's a great recipe to enjoy anytime. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!